so now i'll be solving the third question of code forces round 788 in this question we are given two permutations of equal length and we are given a third unknown permutation so some of the elements of this unknown permutation are known to us and we need to find the number of ways in which we can form the complete permutation wherein we fill the unfilled elements the unknown elements okay so for taking the first example what we'll do is we'll form a graph with a of i and b of i as nodes a of i and b of i as nodes so the graph which will be formed will be something like this so if any of the elements of a graph are already taken see in the question 2 is already taken is already known so 2 is already known so we will have to take elements from that particular permutation all the elements of that particular connected component so basically 2 3 and 1 in 2 3 and 1 we have no choice we have to take elements from the second permutation itself now the left over four elements only have the choices so we have two connected two more com connected components here 4 7 and 5 6 so here we have choices we can take 4 7 from this permutation or 4 7 from this permutation both the elements should be taken from one particular permutation itself also in the case of 5 and 6 we can take 5 6 from this permutation or 5 6 from this permutation so for this we have two choices for this also we have two choices so the answer will be the product of the choices since the choices are dependent on each other so the answer will be 4 in this case so similarly i'll take up the other examples as well So in the second example, we are given one five two four six three and six five three one four two. Okay, and six is the only known character. So we'll form the graph using a of i and b of i as nodes, and then and then we'll try to form the formulate the answer so 1 1 and then 6 then 6 is connected to 4 then is 4 then 4 is connected to 1 5 is connected to 5 itself and 2 is connected to 3 and 3 is connected to 2 okay so since here 5 is connected to 5 itself we we don't have any choice here we have to take 5 at this place so here also we have no choice so and in this one 6 is already taken so all the elements of that particular permutation will have to be taken so 6 1 and 4 will be taken so here it will be 6 so it will be 1 here it will be 4 the only choices that we have is in 2 and 3 so we can take 2 3 from this permutation or 2 3 from this permutation so we have only two choices so it is very clear from these examples so 
so it is very clear from these examples that that the answer will be 2 to the power the number of free connected components So we'll take all the inputs. Also, we have a function written for DSU here. So I'll use it. We'll initialize the DSU. Actually, we'll start the indexing from one, so it is more clear. Okay. Basically, we can use n itself here. So now I will form the graph using DSU. So A of I and B of I will be the nodes. So we'll use merge function. Now if A of I is equals to B of I, which is this case, this case where five and five both are same. So in that case, five will be the node itself and we know the node. So we'll put C of I as B of I. Okay. Now we'll form a set to store the number of connected comp number of connected components. Get us to find the parent of the particular node. Now we will erase all the known nodes from the set. So if C of i is not equal to 0, in that case, we will erase parent of C of i. Okay, the function is find here. and then we'll form the answer I have a modular power function written as well Yeah, so I'll submit the code. Okay, so the code is accepted.